RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Glide, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Werner Tobin here at Agritechnica. We're reporting for Optimum Gly from Corteva AgriScience. I'm here with John Myhill. We're going to talk strip till and we're going to take a close look at the SPX strip tiller from Horizon. John, how's it going? Good, thank you, Bernard. Thanks for having us on the stand. Now, Canadian farmers, North American farmers, a lot of interest in strip tillage. Let's talk about this machine. Um, parallel linkage is probably where the starting conversation is. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So Horizon Agriculture, UK manufacturer. We build uh, everything on site in our factory in Lincolnshire, in the UK. So the parallel linkage is important because we want to make sure it's contour following, but also the front to the back of the machine is, is at the right depth but continually throughout its operation process. Yes. You also talk about an auto reset system. Yep, so the auto reset, if we're hitting any rocks or stones, uh, it will push the leg back without breaking anything, and then once it's cleared the obstruction, the, the leg and the shank fall back into the working position. Right. What about the cleaning system? Now? So the cleaning system, we use clean sweep from precision planting, in-cab controlled by the air system. This uh, moves any trash away from the leg um, to make sure we've got a nice, clean, black strip. Right. Let's talk about uh, these. Uh, how you, how you uh, manage your berms, how you establish your berms. Yeah. What we got? So we've got berm discs here. So these, are, uh, these can be altered for the width, so your berm can be uh, any width you want. Right. It can be staggered to so make sure we've got, if we've got cover crop or trash flowing through it. Um, the berm discs themselves can be angled in, towed in, so if we're doing in the fall, we want a nice high berm, we can make sure we're stacking soil on top of each other. The leg and the shank go up to uh, 30 inches in depth. We can do a, a high disturbance point or a low disturbance point and a, a wide wing or a shallow wing, depending on what the grower wants. Tell us about the closing system. Yeah, so the closing system runs on airbags. Again, can be in-cab controlled, setting the pressure, the downforce. Depending on the soil type and the conditions, we can run metal fingered uh, wheels, which we've got in front of you, Vernon, there, mm -hmm. or we can run on rubber wing, uh, rubber wheels if we're on very light, sandy soil. Right. Right. Talk about uh, managing trash here. You know, we've got a lot of no-till, we're going through a lot of corn stubble. How do we manage trash? Yes, so trash, we're very much on the, the clean sweep uh, row cleaners there. As they are in cab control, the operator has very fine adjustments to making sure that we're getting all that trash out of the way. Yeah. Um, we have a good lot of clearance in the bottom of the leg and the shank there to make sure the trash is flowing through it. Yeah. And um, just to note, while we've got our hands on it, this machine will also do slurry applications. So we're applying slurry at the bottom of that uh, leg, making sure that it's buried out of the way, and then yeah. the corn or the yeah. soil plant can grow in. To it. Yeah, and we can run dry fertilizer dry and fur, liquid fur. Fur. We can mount the front tank on the front of the tractor. We can do whatever that farmer wants. What about final question? That is uh, the fall, the spring. Yeah, uh, we run well. Yeah, so we can run in the fall, uh, depending on soil type. What if we're setting up for the fall, we lift the these rear wheels out the way. Yeah. We'll set our berm discs up slightly different to make sure we've got a nice high uh, berm. Coming back into the spring, we can do a refresh put those back into operation to make sure we're getting a good uh, yeah. seed bed um, and we can also chop out the bottom of the shank and put a, a set of spring tines in there to really uh -huh. just to create a nice fine tilt. Right. Hey, final question for you, and that is, hey, uh, Horizon in, in North America, Canadian farmers, you know, uh, talk about your footprint there. Yeah, so we're a relatively new company, four years, um, but we're really making inroads into the into the world market of strip till and planters. We're in 27 different countries. We've got no-till drills going into North America and Canada, yeah. so certainly we are open to, to, to importing machines into Canada and North America, you know, so please come and look out for us on our website. Just one last thing, we make machines up to seven and a half meters wide. Yeah. They're on the linkage of the tractor, um, but in a few more years' time, we'll certainly have trailed machines as well. Awesome. John, thank you for taking some time for Real Agriculture at Agritechnica. Thank you very much.